Hi, today we're going to talk about Microsoft Expression Encoder Pro 4 and how you could use it to encode videos and broadcast it over your local area network. In case you haven't already installed Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, uh, I have the instructions in the description section of this video. So first let's open Microsoft Expression Encoder Pro 4 and uh, we are prompted to three options. It is a transcoding project, a cellular project or live broadcasting project. Our interest is to broadcast a video over local area network, so let's choose live broadcasting project. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, once we open up, uh, you'll find a pretty decent UI, and Microsoft's very good in it. And this black box over here is where the video is going to be shown when it's streamed and it has kind of instructions over here and it says add a live source and a file source a live source is something that's live like a feed from a webcam or a feed from a DV camera of an event and uh, a file source is something more static that's something that is on your hard drive already so for the example I'll be using add a file source and if you're using a live source, you'll have to select the video device, video line, resize mode, audio device, and audio line uh, according to your needs. And let me select add a file source. And I'm going to use uh, Limitless. It's a beautiful film if you haven't seen it already. And it'll take a couple seconds for this to process the video. And once it's done, uh, you'll notice this instructions kind of change, and it says queue a live or file source. So after adding a video, what you need to do is you have to queue it. And once you click on this, it will show you how to queue it. And while what you have to do is to click this button. Once you click it, it'll turn green, and thereafter, uh, you're prompted to select an output type. The output type we're interested in having is a stream. So if you want to select the output type, you have to go to this output tab over here and then select streaming. And what we are interested in is broadcasting. So select this broadcast uh, radio button. By default, it will have port 8080 uh, assigned to the broadcast and there will be 10 uh, number of connections as the max. It's all right, that's sufficient. And you can change them as you need in case you have a port blocked. You can select a different port now, for example, 1234. And once you do this, you are capable of start streaming the video. But the video will be not of the quality that you have, been, you have selected. So to just fine tune it according to your needs, you have to go to the encode tab and select this video option. And here you see the bitrate, which is 350. That's kind of very low for a video. You can just click it and add whatever the value you want, let's say 600. And uh, you need to select the width and you need to select the height of it. Well, you have to do it according uh, to the server machine of what is processing the video. Uh, because more the bitrate, more the width, the more the height, the more the processing will go. and if you don't have a good processor, you will have saturation and it will break up or even freeze the computer. So I'm going to keep this in around 350 which was the default value because my computer is a 12 core, core 2 duo actually and it's not very capable of crunching audio video. And according to your needs you can also change the audio and the pre-processing and uh, but you actually don't have to do it it's pretty okay to start streaming so start streaming by clicking the start button and this is what's been streamed if you want to access this stream uh, you can access it within your computer uh, but actually the need is to access it from a remote computer in your network so first what you need to know is the IP address of the stream so let's go to command prompt Let's open command prompt. We can put CMD on this search and it will show the command prompt. And what you need to put is IP config 
it will show you a list of devices and the IP addresses. I have a lot over here, but uh, an average computer should have about two or three. And here we have Ethernet adapter local area connection. That's how I'm connected to my network. I'm connecting using an Ethernet cable. So my IP address for it is 192.168.0.21. In case you're uh, connecting through wireless area network, uh, what you'll have to select is the IP address of the wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection. It will have an IP address over here, but because I'm not using my Wi-Fi connection at the moment, it doesn't show it. So once you have the IP address, you have to go to the destination PC that's going to view the stream and you have to open Windows Media Player. Okay, right. <clears throat> you can basically use any media player, but I prefer Microsoft stuff, it's pretty cool. Okay, after that, you can right click on the kind of the taskbar and you can open file and open URL and you have to enter the IP address of it starting with MMS colon at the IP address 192.168.0.21 it's already here because I tested it once and you have to put the port number which is 8080 by default but if you use something else let's say for example 1234 you have to put 1234 but we didn't change it so it's port 8080 and all what you have to do is enter and you see it's buffering so actually what we did is working and once it's 100% you start to see the video you see it's actually showing um, this is kind of low quality because we didn't select a sufficient bitrate over here uh, the bitrate is 290 at the moment uh, and the width is 320 pixels and the height is 240 that's very bad for a video uh, you need to at least have let's say 800 pixels wide and a bitrate of well, nearly a thousand would be decent and <coughs> this is what you get and uh, you can have I believe up to 10 connections such as this and uh, you'll need a fairly fast local area connection if you're using Wi-Fi I think it could cause a problem because Wi-Fi bandwidth is relatively low but depending on your adapter and your uh, Wi-Fi router uh, it could be the low so um, that's about using Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 Pro uh, to stream a video over your low quality network. I'm Zian Chunadin. I'm a training network engineer for the University of Peradeniya. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'll have my website and my email address. Uh, drop in any comments and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you for viewing.